a good day running the strip to a bar Monday uh, pushing 160 acres it's a slow day ground was froze had to pound off the frozen dirt from the night before and then I broke two hoses I don't know if it's because it was too cold or the old saying, work on Sunday, fix on Monday, it came true today. So we got up and running. I'm trying to empty out the tank. I'm going to try and quit before it freezes tonight. 25 degrees, but we're about at 34 now. We got another 2,000 pounds to get off, and then we'll uh, call it a day. Finally feeling pretty comfortable running this thing now. I got her dialed in good on the fertilizer. My start and stop set pretty good. And the auto steer is working great. So we're uh, rolling along. We just need the weather to cooperate, which next week looks really good. So we'll be doing good. Had to go around a bunch of windmills, so that slowed me down a little bit. Wednesday morning. Got the strip till bar in the shop today. It's 21 degrees out. Kind of chilly, kind of crusty. So we are replacing points. That's what a new one looks like. And that's what a worn out one looks like. If you run them too long, then it gets into these side shields, wears them out, and then you have to replace them also. So I guess it's about time to change them. I don't know if you can see on this, oop, sorry. This has a wing on there that gets wore off that protects those side shields. They said keep up on it. If you replace the points in time, you can get three sets of points out of those side shields. So, trying to keep ahead of it, except in the tire tracks. You can see already here, they're getting really thin. Should have replaced that one sooner, probably. Ah, stripped on again today. We had three small fields yesterday, and today we've got a nice big one. Good running, except I had uh, row 11 kept plugging on me. Kept unplugging it. Finally I got frustrated and we found that we had a piece of fiberglass stuck in the air diffuser. Or lets the air out. So we got that figured out. Always something. We're rolling. A little more stripping today. It's getting dark now. I know the camera makes it look pretty bright out. Won't be long. I'll be turning the lights on. Uh, I just wanted to say I watched the Millennial Farmer this morning. And he sounds like he... Uh, saying when I watched the Millennial Farmer video this morning and he was talking about his strip till bar and I have to say I went through every one of his emotions that he had feelings about excited working great to want to cut it up into a million pieces I've come to realize this is something that you really really want to have to make work which I do. I want it to work. It's just that it's different than what we've done for so many years. Um, I 
love the principle of it. You know, you're doing three things at one time. Your fall tillage, your spring tillage, you're putting on dry fertilizer. So you hit her with a sprayer in the spring and the planter is the next pass. So that's the plan anyway. It's just tough when you have troubles, you know. And used to run a ripper and you just hooked up and went till you were too tired, couldn't see straight, and you'd go home. But now with uh, setting up all the lines and everything, get your lines set. You gotta put your boundaries on. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a learning curve, and you gotta want to do it. That's for sure. But all this stuff helps. Blockage monitors tells you when you get into your boundary. Now it's Friday. Finally made it to my last bean field going to corn farm. Uh, it's been a long road, but we finally got here. Got everything dialed in, everything's working good. I have been having some trouble breaking hoses when I start when it's really cold out. I would have thought these hoses would have been able to take that better unless I got a bad batch of hoses or something. But she's kind of a warm, warm uh, temperature machine, I think. Daylight hours only, I guess. But we're getting there. I haven't tried corn stalks yet. I've heard that it's a real bugger this year. So much trash. Nothing's decayed yet because we're so dry. So I don't know if I'll get any corn stalks stripped or not. I might just have to spread it and no-till it next spring. See how that goes. Ah, uh, time to fill. Man, it's windy and cold out there. But I guess it ain't gonna fill itself, is it? Sandy strap here, though. Good 
to go. Let's see how many pounds we got in here. Eighteen thousand one hundred pounds. She's full. Well, we got done with bean ground going to corn last night. Got going on the corn ground going to beans. I'm putting a potash potash blend on here with some phosphorus and some micros. Uh, not gonna lie, I started too early this morning first year doing this and I was not having very much fun plugging up but now that the sun's out dry everything's dried off I got my line figured out here uh, we're good to go but the rest of the corn acres can go like this that would be awesome running about six miles an hour Pulling pretty easy. And I shallowed it up to six inches from eight inches on the bead ground. It's working good. So the stress level has gone down for now. It's tough for an old guy to go from conventional tillage to saving the planet. 